Since the beginning of August, the world was astonished by reports coming out of Peru about villagers who claimed they witnessed seven-foot-tall entities. Local authorities described these alleged beings as armored and floating, and the most intriguing aspect is their supposed invulnerability to attacks. The local residents also drew similarities between their assailants and mythical creatures, as well as referring to local Peruvian beliefs surrounding the face peelers. However, the Peruvian law enforcement has recently identified a new individual as a possible suspect. According to experts, the responsibility for illegal gold mining activities can be attributed to criminal organizations, which have caused significant damage to Latin America over the years. Peru's National Prosecutor's Office, currently examining the entities, has attributed responsibility to the gold syndicates, who have faced significant resistance from the Brazilian and Colombian armed forces. According to prosecutors in Peru, these organizations who are using jetpacks aim to instill fear through their unusual tactics, effectively keeping the residents confined to their homes and deterring them from accessing the illegal gold mines. Prosecutors have suspicions that these unauthorized mining organizations initially utilized their jetpacks to explore for gold in the remote and harsh jungles surrounding Peru's Nane River. The Akitu people in rural Alto Nane, Peru, live in close proximity to thick rainforests. In this area, gold has accumulated in the riverbeds of the Nane River's tributaries as if it were sediment. The Akitu informed journalists that the recent invasion, which started on July 11th, has subjected the residents to relentless assaults by mysterious beings. However, many locals have said that news outlets have twisted their words and said that the entities were not wearing grey clothing but rather their actual skin was grey, and that the entities gave off no noise and no jetpacks were seen during these encounters. On top of this, these entities were not affected by their weapons and had the ability to give off a blinding light which would disorientate the eyewitnesses. Some have suggested that a possible cover-up is happening and that the illegal activities are being used as a front. Others backed this up by saying that the entities were over seven feet tall and were very slender. As of right now, officials are trying to suggest illegal miners as a possible cause, but as some have said, human miners are not immune to bullets. According to Jairo Avila, an Ikitu leader, he stated to radio programmers that these individuals are extraterrestrials. Avila admitted to the local radio station that he fired two shots at them, but instead of falling, the entity stood up and vanished. The mysterious events in the community have caused fear among the residents. However, another witness for the prosecution, a teacher, observed these strange creatures ascending from the ground using more conventional methods. According to Christian Pakaya and other witnesses, the illegal mining syndicate utilized advanced equipment such as propellers and high-tech devices, which Peruvian law enforcement authorities have referred to as jet packs. Carlos Quintanilla, the Peruvian government's prosecutor in charge of the investigation, stated to news outlets that advanced technology, including flying thrusters, are currently being utilized. On July 29th, Pacaya, an individual from the neighboring San Antonio de Pintuyacu community, disclosed to news channels about his first-hand experience of observing illegal miners trying to take down a young woman. The woman allegedly suffered lacerations on her neck and other wounds while resisting and is currently receiving medical attention in the vicinity. Loreto's specialized prosecutor for environmental matters informed news outlets that foreign organizations are conducting illegal gold extraction activities in towns located in the northern region of Peru. According to Quintanilla, the majority of these unauthorized gold mining activities, accounting for 80%, are situated within the Nane River Basin. This region is located to the northwest of Loreto's capital city and is inhabited by the Ikitu people. Quintanilla, Loreto's watchdog for environmental crimes, shared with the publication that he has a hunch that these unlawful gold miners might have initially utilized jetpacks to venture further into the thick Peruvian rainforest in search of potentially lucrative gold deposits hidden within riverbeds. He stated that we have conducted an investigation which revealed that these individuals plan to utilize this attire to access those locations. According to this hypothesis, the gold miners' utilization of jetpacks to carry out their search would have been considered somewhat insignificant. Many are not believing these claims, 
saying that you need heavy-duty equipment to be able to mine gold from a riverbed, and further state that none of this equipment was seen during these encounters. The Ikitu community has requested assistance from the Peruvian military due to a series of unusual and perplexing incidents. The local people characterized the assailants as beings with a silver appearance and large heads. The Ikitu people, residing in a village situated about 10 hours away from Loreto's capital Iquitos, find themselves unable to continue their normal routines. In response, they have taken the initiative to form nighttime patrols in order to confront their technologically advanced assailants. They are enacting these measures until the Peruvian military can step in and provide assistance. As of right now, more and more information is being released about the mysterious entities that were sighted in Peru. Oddly enough, since the topic has been trending, locals have been posting photographs of the alleged creatures, with some describing them giving off bright lights, while others have said that they have big heads with large eyes. Interestingly, locals have said that this isn't the first time that these entities have been witnessed, and detailed that locals have allegedly been encountering them now for several months. In a rural area called Alto Nanay, located in the northeastern part of Lima, Peru, residents who've lived in the area for several decades claim to be experiencing constant encounters with seven-foot-tall entities. These mysterious beings are said to have armoured bodies and distinct features, such as large heads and yellow eyes. The villagers report that these creatures have been consistently attacking their community during the night since July 11th. Oddly enough, Footage was released of the incident, and those who saw it said they could make out a humanoid-like entity, while others noted that the creature appeared to be more bug-like. The Akitu indigenous people have made accusations regarding advanced beings who they claim are impervious to their traditional hunting tools. These individuals are calling for assistance from the Peruvian military to ensure their safety against these interstellar trespassers. According to their accounts, the mysterious entities wear protective suits and possess an extraordinary ability to float, using spherical footwear, illuminated by a red light. According to community leader Jairo Riategui Avila, he described the individuals as beings from another planet. Jairo even attempted to fire at one of them twice, but they remained unharmed and eventually vanished. This extraordinary occurrence has caused great fear and concern within the community. In order to ensure the safety of their community, the villagers have organized night patrols, the authorities have conducted a visit to the vicinity and explored the outskirts of the village. According to these stories, many of the residents report that these entities have the ability to give off a blinding light. So, what do you make of these mysterious encounters happening in Peru? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.